Well, both the Harris and Trump campaigns are getting ready to make appearances in the key battleground state of Pennsylvania this weekend. This comes after Vice President Kamala Harris laid out her economic policy plan today in North Carolina. Fox Eyes' Sharon Crowley is in the studio to break it all down for us. Hey, Sharon. Yeah, that's right, Natasha. Polls show the economy a central concern for voters. So both of the candidates this week tried to lay out their vision for making the cost of living more affordable. And it comes as Democrats gear up for a big party next week. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the 2024 Democratic National Convention. The Democratic National Convention kicks off in Chicago Monday, weeks after a dramatic change at the top of the ticket. We'll have the most important historic moment when Vice President Kamala Harris accepts her nomination for President of the United States. President Joe Biden will speak Monday, followed by former Presidents Barack Obama and Bill Clinton Tuesday and Wednesday. Thursday night, Vice President Harris will accept her historic nomination. Outside, though, convention protesters of the Israel-Hamas war are expected to turn out in force. We will be there. We will chant free Palestine. We will say stop USA to Israel. The economy top of mind for voters and the candidates on the campaign trail. When I am elected president, I will make it a top priority to bring down costs and increase economic security for all Americans. The vice president wants to lower the cost of food, housing, medicine, and child care by punishing companies for price gouging. She also vows to provide help for first-time home buyers. My administration will provide first-time home buyers with $25,000 to help The Trump campaign quick to criticize the Biden-Harris administration on the economy. We're a failing nation because of the way it's been run for the last three and a half years. Thursday in Bedminster, New Jersey, Trump spoke surrounded by food to highlight the high price of groceries. He wants to tax foreign goods and reduce energy costs with more drilling. On day one, we're going to drill baby drill and we're going to close the border and we're going to let people come in, but they're going to come in legally. Well, both candidates will be campaigning in the all-important battleground state of Pennsylvania this weekend. And, Natasha, I'm going to leave you with a fun fact for Friday about the Democratic National Convention. Also on the roster, actress and comedian Julia Louise Dreyfus, who played the vice president's char uh, character of the vice president on the HBO series. Be very, very funny if you oh, haven't I, seen it. I'm in the middle of re-watching it for a second yeah. time, and it is crazy and scary how it pretty much is like reality these That's days. right. Art imitates life, imitates art, or something along That's those That's right. Exactly. <laughs> I know what you're saying. All right, Sharon, thank you so much. President Biden said...